When you take the piston out, do you put a little mark on it so that you know uh, which way to put it back in? You normally put the mark at the front of the engine, but I've got the engine sitting on its nose, so I've put it at the back. Probably the wrong thing to do, but I've done it now. So as you can see, the piston rings have uh, bound into the grooves uh, over winter. Uh, we're just going to free them off uh, by gently coaxing them to move. Oh, I've got the thing uh, sitting in a pan of diesel over the gas ring to uh, try and uh, ease those piston rings out of their grooves. Well, let's see, the oil's up to 115 degrees now. Uh, let's have a look and see what's going on. You can see there are a few little bubbles forming around the piston rings. And that indicates that uh, something's happening. Now I'm just tapping the piston rings with a rawhide hammer and already I'm getting a little bit of movement there. And see that ring there just moving out? It's a bit hot to touch. Back in the heat for a bit. There we are now. Half an hour of careful tapping and heating. And the first piston ring is free. So we'll take that off and start with the second one. And now 20 minutes later, the uh, second one is nearly free all the way around. If you try to prise them out instead, you will break them. I've done this a few times in the past and it's always worked. There we are. Just got it free now. Just what the doctor ordered. So we take it out, clean it all, and put it back in. There we are, the rings are back on. Took about an hour, I suppose, to uh, get the job done. But now it can go back in the engine.